the ISA-1 Digital, the Classic Focusrite Mic Pre and Simultaneous DI. Now with class leading stereo ADC as standard. So we're here at the AES show in a secret underground lair with the AVID guys. Here's Tony and he's going to show us Pro Tools 9, which apparently, in fact we know already, is even more native than Pro Tools native. <laughs> the rumors are true. So yes, we're, um, we're, we're really, really excited to, to be showing this. So Pro Tools 9 is, uh, was announced just a couple days ago and it is indeed completely open. So for the very first time, uh, Pro Tools can run uh, with Avid hardware, but also now uh, without hardware, using uh, Core Audio, um, just on a, on a MacBook Pro, for example. Um, and it will also work using uh, ASIO drivers. So really, the customer now has, has ultimate flexibility to run Pro Tools however and wherever they want. So you still get the benefit of, of you know, uh, running Pro Tools with Mbox and 003s and 11 racks and, and things like that. But, um, but now, you know, they're not tied to the studio. They can work with Pro Tools on the road uh, while traveling. It really opens up a whole bunch of stuff for them. So you can use most third-party interfaces apart from a few that are non-compliant, I guess. <coughs> exactly right. They're, uh, so the uh, Pro Tools 9 supports Core Audio and ASIO, so assuming the, uh, a manufacturer will support that spec, um, you know, it, we found, we tested very, very many uh, third-party uh, hard, uh, hardware boxes, and um, we found you know, pretty much almost everything works very, very well. And we have a, a very short list of a couple uh, products that, that had some initial issues, and we're trying to work those out. Okay. Now, of course, top of everyone's wish list for the lower cost versions of Pro Tools was proper plug-in delay compensation. So how does that work? Well, it just works now. It's, it's built in. So uh, automatic delay compensation is included with Pro Tools 9. And it's really part of reestablishing or establishing a, a baseline um, feature set for, for Pro Tools. So um, automatic delay compensation is included. Uh, up to 96 stereo voices are supported. You get OMF, AF, uh, MXF support directly within the program. Um, uh, we've also uh, integrated Yukon into Pro Tools version 9. So it's, it's really a, a substantial, substantial launch, and we're really, really stoked about it. Okay, so um, are there any other limitations that are hidden away there, or, or is everything as wonderful as it seems? Everything is, is more wonderful than it, than it seems. Um, we've, we've also increased the, uh, the buses eight times by a factor of eight from uh, you know, up to 256 internal buses. Um, we've added variable pan depth. So now you can select variable pan depth up to uh, minus 6 dB. Um, we've included the MP3 export option. So there's, uh, there's a ton of goodies, and I'm sure I'm missing, yeah. uh, I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff. So a lot of these things you used to have to pay extra for, they're now integrated. That's exactly right. So because this has a, the functionality of a lot of the toolkits, so you, uh, uh, prior to this, you could buy something called the Music Production Toolkit, you could get the, uh, the DV Toolkit, you could get uh, DigiTranslator. All of those things aren't necessary anymore because it's all that functionality is now built in to the software. So um, moving forward, we do have something called Complete Production Toolkit uh, 2, which is the updated version to the original, and that will take the baseline Pro Tools feature set and now give you everything you would get with Pro Tools HD software when it's running on the host. <coughs> so somebody that owns Pro Tools HD with this version 9 upgrade can now take their iLock, install that same software package on their, uh, on, their, on their laptop, and when they're on the train or the plane or, or, or away from the studio, they can now open up those same sessions and get complete session portability between their HD system and their um, HD software running on their laptop. So, now so of they course, get everything uh, bar the TDM plugins, of course. Exactly. So they don't get TDM processing. They don't get uh, support for the heat uh, software option, which 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 requires the TDM uh, processing. And there's a couple other things like um, like uh, destructive track punch that that requires some of the hardware acceleration to function. But the vast majority of uh, the functionality is is across the board. So if somebody wants the Pro Tools HD software functionality, but maybe they don't need the peak performance, they don't need this really scalable I.O. Or, or processing power that you get with Pro Tools HD, but they need that compatibility, they can still buy the Pro Tools 9 software, get a complete production toolkit, and now have 
lossless compatibility and session um, portability between systems. Okay. In terms of plug-in compatibility, you're still sticking with RTAS, I believe, but uh, you can use certain other formats with a wrapper if it works. <coughs> uh, probably not supported by yourselves, but, uh, but I guess that they do work. Well, nothing's changed there. We still uh, support our tests, of course. Uh, there are wrappers. There are VST wrappers of expansion as a VST wrapper that uh, that works uh, quite well. Um, there's been some news by Universal Audio for for uh, many of those customers that that use UAD cards. Um, they're, they're now going to be uh, supporting our tests. So. Uh, users that have that card will get that full, you know, the benefits of the automatic delay compensation when using um, UAD cards with a, a native solution. So that's really exciting. So is the plug-in delay compensation designed to be used just when mixing, or is it low enough latency to use when tracking? <coughs> the, sorry, the... The plug-in delay compensation. Uh, the automatic delay compensation? Yes. I mean, does it increase the latency? Would you want to use it during mix-down, or is it low enough latency to use during tracking with most plugins? For most, uh, yeah, for most plugins, yes. Of course, there there, there are plugins like um, Auto Tune, for example. There are some uh, mastering plugins that use uh, that have look-ahead limiters, where mm -hmm. it makes it very difficult to to track with. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, but but for the most part, yes, you can absolutely track with auto delay compensation on. You have just have to be careful which plugins you're using. That's fair enough. So it looks incredibly complex. I'll do that again. <coughs> Well, it looks incredibly comprehensive, but I believe that the price is surprisingly low. Uh, I, I think it's an incredible value, for sure. Uh, so for $599 US, you're getting, uh, you're getting really what previously used to cost you over $1,600 if you took, say, the value of uh, Pro Tools M-Powered and then added the toolkits you would need to get all the functionality, not to mention all the stuff that was never available before, like ADC, Yukon integration. Uh, you know, variable pan depth, all that stuff. So yeah, you're right. It, it's an incredible value, and I think. Uh, but I think that's what uh, people expect and want in the in the market in the industry right now. They expect that kind of value, and we're happy to be able to give it to them. And I believe there's an upgrade path for people with um, earlier versions. Absolutely. <coughs> so because Pro Tools software is really a new product, it's not Pro Tools LE9. Uh, we're offering uh, a cross-grade, so any Pro Tools LE customers can um, cross-grade to Pro Tools 9. Uh, Pro Tools Empowered customers can also do that cross-grade. And of course, there's an upgrade path for Pro Tools HD users to get the latest version of Pro Tools HD 9. Sounds great. Thanks, Dan. Thank you so much.